they do not misinterpret the customs and law in the Middle East, but to promote awareness among the travelers who may be wanted to travel because Middle East are now opening its door for tourism. I would rather discuss an important issue about the customs and law in the Middle East before you travel as it will be a guideline for you not to get in any trouble. Unlike us who came from uh, Europe, Asia and Western world, we live wild and free. But in the Middle East generally 98% of them are Muslim and their customs tradition and everyday living actually are based on Sharia law or Hadith. So as a foreigner, you have to behave before you get fined, whipped, jailed, deported, if not decapitated. say I knew that already from television from news from magazine from, yeah. but unless you live and stayed in the Middle East for quite a period of time you will never know the reality versus the myth in my case I work in Abu Dhabi in Saudi and I've been to Egypt I have so I could really define what is the truth and the old traditional myth in their customs and laws the changes and development of each nation from terrible to more human form of punishment. Yes, we are living in 21st century and these nations are also developing and becoming more liberated due to the volume of expatriates working here and uh, of course uh, the political alliances with the uh, Western countries. These are the 16th original Middle Eastern country from north to south, Turkey, Cyprus, Lebanon, Syria, Palestine, Israel, Jordan, Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, Oman, Yemen, and Egypt. The GCC and the Gulf Cooperation Council are composed of six uh, richest oil exporting countries, yet they are the most conservative in their customs, especially Saudi and Qatar. Familiarize yourself with these laws before you land your foot on any Middle Eastern country. By the way, I have also listed the cheapest country to travel in the Middle East if you are on a tight budget. You can prioritize them. Fourteen most forbidden things in the Middle East. Number one, indecent attire. Except Saudi, Qatar, and Kuwait, where women should wear a bay and their hand, most Middle Eastern countries who are open for tourism, they don't implement it anymore. However, you must keep a decent clothing. Never to wear a short shorts and spaghetti blouse or any skin revealing clothes. You will only attract troubles among men. Number two, display of public affection. Kissing passionately in the public is not acceptable in their society. Hagi, no problem. Number three, photography. Only in Gulf countries you need permission to shoot, especially if you take the pictures of the people themselves. But in any tourist spot countries, photography is allowed. Number four, alcohol. In six Gulf countries, it's banned, but in Oman, you need the permission and license to have it with restriction also. 
In a tourist destination cities like Manama, Bahrain, and United Arab Emirates, it is normally available where people from Saudi, Qatar, and Kuwait travel to enjoy it all. Number five, gambling. Gambling is open in most open cities with casinos. Number six, pornography. If you bring any pornographic magazines or materials from the airport, it will be confiscated at once. But pushing or promoting it, you're gonna get a jail time. Anyway, it is available in any mobile phone, which should be in private. Number seven, drugs. In any form or any kind, it is a major crime in the Middle East. Never ever bring any, or else you will be subject to death penalty, no less. Number eight, homosexuality. It's an abomination to their religion, so behave guys, even if you are just a tourist, any act of homosexuality will be in a big problem. It is a major offense, subject for capital punishment. But only in Bahrain and Israel it is legalized and open. Number nine, prostitution. It's an old, old profession anywhere in the world, even in Gulf countries. But it cannot be legalized in the Middle East. And if you call on doing or pushing it, you are in a big, big trouble. You may get fined, whipped, jailed, or and deported. But as a woman, it is easier to be flagged than to get jailed. Because if you got jailed, great chances of being raped by different jail guards every hour by the hour and it's so horrible. Number 10, pork or any pork products. It's totally banned in the Middle Eastern countries. So don't bring any, they are haram. And only halal food acceptable for them. Number 11, adultery. In earlier generation, a couple caught in this act is a stone to death. But now they don't practice it anymore. However, it's still a major crime punishable by death after a thorough investigation. Number 12, Theft or robbery. Everybody knows that hands amputation is applied as a punishment in older times, especially in Saudi. But now it de depends on the gravity of what is stolen and how it was done. There are also consideration for the poor and young people. There is a first offense forgiven, second offense fines, and the third offense you may be locked up in jail for a very long time. Number 13, Bible and religion. Only in Saudi you cannot bring Bible in public because Saudi is the center of Islamic religion. But in the most Gulf countries, they not only recognize other religions, but they can allow to practice it inside a building. Number 14, rape or gun rape. It is a major crime in the Middle East, subject to capital punishment. It just what it happens between expatriate and some uncivilized employers. But as a tourist, be careful. It is not easy to get justice once it happens to you. You may even be charged for prostitution. Any act of terrorism and sorcery is the surest and the quickest way to get one's beheading, especially in Saudi and Iran. And it's still happening right this very time. But under the Sharia law, there are three categories. According to Hadud, apostasy is the greatest sin of all, homosexuality and adultery. According to Kisas, murder and physical injury, which is eye for an eye, can be compensated by money and is favored for those who have money. According to Tazir, drug, sorcery, and rape. All of these are punishable by uh, death, hanging, or firing squad, or uh, beheading. These laws are not only applied in the Middle Eastern country, but in most major Muslim countries around the world. Even in Indonesia, they are very tough in following the Sharia law. But each Muslim country has its own version and degree of application of this Sharia law. I could say lifestyle and living in the Middle East is a little bit boring. It's really conservative. However, as an expatriate, we are safe from alcohol and drugs related crimes. Safer than in any Western, Asia, or European countries. You just have to follow the law and everything will be fine. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something from this video. And hit the notification bell and subscribe so you can get more. And leave a comment if you have any.